Tumila, welcome to my channel and today we're going to talk about why we see ourselves getting married in dreams. Now, getting married in the dream is the most beautiful thing that could happen to one in their spiritual path. Now, remember, just like physical weddings, we're supposed to enjoy them, we're supposed to celebrate, we're supposed to have fun because it is our big day. Now, what does it mean to us spiritually? Now remember, first, as spiritual people, as a female, you can get married to a male or a female. As a, female, as a male, you can get married to a male or a female. Because spirituality, in spirituality we do not have gender issues. That is what it happens. Now what does it mean to us spiritually? When we get married in dreams, it means that we are being introduced to new spirits in our spiritual path. Not our ancestors. You don't get introduced to your ancestors uh, by getting married in the dream state. Mm -mm. You're getting introduced to new spirits. It's very important to remember that. Someone unfamiliar to us, we were not aware of that spirit. So we will be going on this life experience with them. We will learn new things together as a couple. Uh, because obviously uh, you were introduced and now it is made official, isn't it? In the dream state. That, you, that's why you tie the knot. The agreement is now finalized. That's what it means. Uh, you're going to be starting a new female. It happens especially if no one in your family was able to align with the spirit that is coming your way. Now, what does that mean? Now, it means that sometimes uh, in, our, in our families, some of our families, they don't uh, 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 acknowledge or they are not uh, in a proper state to align with the spirits like Nzunza, Mandawe, Abalozi. Then you are the first one to be able to align with it. So they will show you getting married to the spirit. So when you pass it to your generation that comes after you, they don't have to get married to the spirit again because you already got married to it. Meaning that it's going to be in their bloodline. That is why we see ourselves getting married to the spirit. And as married couples, people do what married couples do. So don't be alarmed in the dream state. When after your wedding, you start seeing yourself getting pregnant or you get pregnant during that ceremony. Because obviously you must see yourself pregnant really. Because remember that they say what? You'll be bringing or you'll start a new family together. Because that is the purpose of getting married. Continuation of the bloodline, my sister, my brother. That's what it's all about. So, you're gonna be Mrs. Nzunza spirit, Mrs. Mandal, Mrs. Abalos, and other spirits that we are not aware of. Or you're gonna be Mr. Mandal, Mr. Nzunza, or Mr. Abalos. And remember, as married people, even though we are happily married, we need to take care of our new babies or our family and look after our families very well. Now, congratulations on your marriage and remember and to share the good news with others because you cannot keep the good news to yourself only. It's a beautiful thing. We should celebrate it with others. How would you?